In this video, we will show you how to replace your upstream O2 sensor. Let's get started. To gain access to the O2 sensor, you're going to want to make your way down along the backside of the engine. Keep in mind, as you do this, you're going to be working exactly next to the exhaust manifold. You want to make sure it's not hot to the touch so you do not burn yourself. Before you continue by removing the O2 sensor from the exhaust manifold, make your way to the gray electrical connector located just underneath your master cylinder. To disconnect this, use your hand or a screwdriver and press on this area. Once you have that pressed, you should be able to separate the wiring. Once you have it disconnected, just give it a quick check for corrosion. Assuming it looks good, just set that aside. Continue following that wire. You're going to find that you have a mounting point right along this area. Use your screwdriver and carefully get in between to separate this. To remove the O2 sensor from your exhaust manifold, you want to make sure you have an O2 sensor socket. It looks like this and has a slot going through it for your wiring. There it is, friends. Okay, now we can get ready to install our brand new upstream O2 sensor. As you're doing this, you need to be extremely careful with your wiring. You don't want to twist it because you could damage it. Make sure you start this in by hand. Screw it in as much as possible. Once it feels as though it bottoms out, just give it a little bit extra. Make sure it's completely tightened to the manifold. Before we continue, take hold of your original O2 sensor. You'll remember we had the plastic clip on this. We need to remove it and transfer it to the new O2 sensor. To do that, use a small pocket screwdriver, gently pry in between this area to separate it transfer it over to your new O2 sensor. When you do this, you want to go approximately three inches down the line from the connector. We'll put it into place and latch it in. Now we can take that O2 sensor wire, connect in the connector. We're gonna listen for a click, give it a tug to make sure that that's secured together. Now we can re-secure the wire to its mounting bracket. Press that into place. Make sure it's secure. You need to double check to make sure that the O2 sensor wiring is not going to get caught on anything and it's definitely not hitting up against anything that might get hot. Okay friends, we fully installed our upstream O2 sensor. At this point, climb out from under the hood, start up the vehicle, make sure you don't have a check engine light, and then take it for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.